Oh no, dinosaurs! Dinosaurs everywhere! Lately, actually, there really has been a lot of dinosaurs. <laughs> Welcome to Coop Scoop Daily, the daily quest for facial hair. Supporting the new haircut too, it's a bit flat today because I've been wearing a hat all day since my job requires me to wear a hat over at Costco. Being a food sampler person thingy. I'm a bobber. I'm actually walking up to the store right now because there's nothing else I'm supposed to do. Actually, right now I should be at rehearsal for Jurassic Park City, the show I'm in right now at the Off Broadway Theater. However, uh, the thing is that they're the things that they're doing tonight, they don't need me. They, I'm not in, involved in any of the scenes that they're rehearsing tonight, so I don't need to be there. So I got pretty much a night off, basically, for the most part, which is a nice little breather as well. So I'm taking this time to go up to the store, get some things I needed. No car though, so I'm just walking. I'm going to be carrying a huge thing of water bottles home, but no biggie at all, really. No biggie. Don't worry. Be happy. Be puns. Okay, I'm going to straight out say it. First time I saw this, for a second I thought it was an owl bong. <laughs> that would have just been ridiculous. Hey guys, I have an idea. How about we pay six bucks for a jar with a straw in it? Because this is literally all this is. It's just a plain glass jar with a straw in it. And uh, that's probably the biggest waste of money I've ever seen in the world. <gasps> no way, Avengers Age of Ultron cereal is in the clearance section. I want to take one so I can put it in my collector's display. Oh, they wrote on the packaging. Collector value gone. I bet people are just shaking their heads right now over that just going... Look at this right over here. The real Gatorade. Get it? Because it's a Gator, see? <laughs> I, need, I need a life. <laughs> what? What? Star Wars cereal? What is this madness? Darth Vader? Yoda? Which one do I choose? I don't know which one. Do I choose the dark side? I think we're going to choose the dark side because, wait, they don't have cookies. But they do have fun shaped marshmallows. Another dinosaur? What is this madness? Gator done. Hey, <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy. Ah, now there's an idea. I'm gonna make some Coop Scoop Daily bracelets. I'm gonna send them out to people who view my channel. Mm -hmm. No, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not. I would definitely be the only one that would want one. Aussie, awesome volume. If I was from Australia, I'd probably be offended by this product, unless it is actually Australian, which something tells me it actually isn't. <gasps> Rogaine. Is the quest for facial hair actually gonna be over? Put this on my face and I can buy some facial hair. Then it could be proven to help regrow hair. Oh, regrow. I can't regrow facial hair because you can't regrow something you don't have. Bedhead hair products. For those who want to try to look like an underachiever. And apparently also spend gobs of money just to look that way. Outshine fruit and veggie bars. Tangerine care flavor. For those who want to try to trick their kids into eating vegetables and have them hate them afterwards. Okay, if I broke my ice cream cone like that while the ice cream was still on top, I'd probably cry or something because that ice cream is gone. On the floor. Bye-bye. This is such a great idea. Doritos roulette. Some of these chips are hot. Some are not. So you get to reach in while they're like a regular amount of cheese and then one of them is going to be like super duper hot. Great idea. All right. In this next segment, I'm totally raising the bar here. <laughs> It won't stay though. Okay, I know this is a travesty, but I'm the only person in the entire world, this is a fact, I'm the only person in the entire world that likes circus peanuts. I'm not kidding, the only person, I'm not kidding, look it up. Right now I'm making a lot of my friends puke after saying that, <laughs> including my girlfriend, she hates them. Mm. All right, I have no idea who Martin Garrix is, but I don't know why he has his own soda, but I totally thought that was Zac Efron. Another dinosaur? What is this? I'm gonna eat your soul. All right, I better get my stuff and actually get out of here. Be right back. All right, I'm outside the store right now. Got myself some waters. And speaking of water, tomorrow marks the end of my water challenge. And some people have been already asking me how that went out. And a few of you already know something that I'm about to talk about because I know someone's gonna want me to mention this about in tomorrow's video because tomorrow, like I said, marks, is, is June 17th, which I said in my video, marks the last day of my 
Watcher Challenge. And uh, at least it would have been my last day if I actually didn't already break it like two weeks ago. No, I accidentally broke it. I accidentally broke it. Here's the reason why. You know that video of me drinking hot chocolate around the campfire? Yeah, I was drinking hot chocolate. You saw it in the video and I even pointed that out. Um, but technically that makes it me, that means I broke it. There was no other kind of drinks around. There was only hot chocolate and it was super cold. And I really need something really, I needed something really warm because I was wearing a, uh, a short sleeve shirt. And it was, it was, I didn't have a jacket with me. So I needed something to warm me up. So I took some hot chocolate. And unfortunately that means I technically broke the water challenge. I'm going to own up to it. I'm not lying. I, didn't, I just want to be flat on with you guys. But here's the other thing, though. Beforehand, I was fantastic with water. Even still, I'm, I'm drinking lots and 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 lots of, lots of water, even compared to what it used to be, because I used to drink sodas nonstop. Soda this, soda that, sugar drink this, sugar drink that. It was really bad. But here's the thing. So even though I drank that, you know, hot chocolate and stuff, um... I, you know, I, I broke it, so I've had a tea every now and again. But that's as far as it went. I hadn't had cravings for any sodas or anything. So, in a way, I also was thinking about this, considering this, is that, um, you know, as great as a water challenge is, drinking lots of water, water is the best thing for you, one of the, the best drink for you, because there's nothing wrong with it, and it, it's super refreshing, good for you. It really cleanses you out. It cleanses you out. And the water challenge is great, but the thing is, I also realize that doing this water challenge means I'm also missing out on really good drinks and stuff for you, like great smoothies or uh, like, you know, tea. I drink, I love drinking tea. Tea's healthy for you. Green tea. I don't put like sugar and stuff in it. It's just straight up green tea. I, I love that kind of stuff. And it really helps your voice as well, drinking like lemon tea and stuff. And now that I'm doing a show, I'll probably be needing to do that. Heck, I even, you know... I even need tea and stuff, too, just because I've been having a sore throat lately. So that's the thing. The water challenge is great, and I do recommend it a lot. And I, it did make me feel a lot better. And heck, it got me drinking so much more water than I've ever had in my life. I, You know, like I said, compared to what it was before, this really got me. It got me hooked on water. And, you know, whenever I'm at restaurants, I choose water now. Whenever I'm at home, I choose water over any kind of sodas. Heck, I just got this whole thing of waters just now so you know the water challenge did a lot of good for me and that's what the water that's what I intended the water challenge to do so did I did I technically fail the water challenge yes I did but did I achieve my goal with the water challenge yes I did I drink lots of water so I recommend you guys try to do the same thing now I'm sorry if, if I let anyone down but you know I I certainly didn't I drink tons of water now and that's all that really matters and I don't have a hankering for soda anymore and you know honestly I feel so much lighter I feel so much better on my feet and I feel so much more energetic than I ever have in the past months you know and I feel like I'm losing weight too I haven't known I don't have a scale or anything but you know I feel it like I said I feel lighter and stuff so it's it's great still going to keep on going drinking a lot of waters with the occasional tea maybe even a coffee now and again soda's a big no-no now so there's that anyway you guys Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I just want to get that out of the way. I'll probably mention tomorrow to watch this video today for those two people who are just coming back to see what, how things are with the Water Challenge. But, yeah, go try it out, the Water Challenge. Fantastic stuff. Stay tuned for a new Sahara Trip update, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye. Rah! Sahara Trip update. Do, 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 do. Yeah! Hello, and welcome to my daily vlog thing. We are here at the Cinebistro, which is a place where you eat food, I guess, and watch a movie. It's like a restaurant, but they show a movie. That's kind of cool. We're going to go see Insidious 3. Look at this. It's got a cool wall of movie. <gasps> Scorch Trials! I'm so excited to see Scorch Trials. Um, yeah, so I'll see you after the movie. <laughs> I see what you did there. Huh. Score. A bowling ball and a bowling pin. Huh. Not funny. Watching more E3 for PC. Mm. Okay, well, 
that's it for today. Uh, we're just watching some more E3 and then tomorrow we are going to my grandparents' beach house. So that's it. Okay, bye.